Hello everyone, my name is Shane, my online name is Lanzer, and this is by the numbers, Numa Swai. So there are three things we need to go over before I start this by the numbers segment. One, the tip jar is now available on all my videos. Feel no obligation to tip me, but give whatever it is you're willing to and whatever you think it's worth. The second thing is that I am not a financial advisor. I am not your financial advisor. If you want to build your wealth or figure out where you should put your money, you should consult someone who has made a career out of this. I am a fact checker. I compare things that are advertised versus what actually shakes out in reality. I do this for myself first. If I didn't have an audience, I would still be making these spreadsheets so that I could be tracking my own data. Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I get formulas wrong. Sometimes I get rates wrong. But by and large, reporting on the facts is a whole lot easier than trying to speculate on something that's going to happen in the future. So I generally try to stay away with that, only really delving into that in things like would I reinvest or my projections, which are pretty solidly based on the averages that are realized so far. But I need to make it abundantly clear to you that I am not your financial advisor. Do not make me the only person you rely on in order to invest. Please educate yourself, do your own research, look at other videos and other data available so that you can make the best decision possible for yourself. These are very high risk investment opportunities, very high risk. They're not real well regulated. That means that your risk of failure is quite a bit higher than you would experience if you were to invest in stock. You need to be educated on that and you need to accept that. And what it means to accept what I just said is to understand that you could lose every sent to invest in cryptocurrency. So if you lose your investment, you need to acknowledge and recognize that the decision to invest in these programs was yours. If you are not willing to do that, then you need to find another investment opportunity because this is not the one for you. And the third thing is how I report on things. I report on facts. I don't report on on what I want to be true, I report on what is true based on what I know so far. What that means is that I also don't report on things that I don't know. So in the case of control finance, is it likely that it's going to come back every day that it doesn't? It seems less likely. And that's why I'm much more reserved on, on what's going to happen and do I think this is a scam and what do I think of this? And that's primarily because I'm not interested in, in spending time and effort to guess about what's going to happen in the future because essentially that's what you're doing. You are guessing when you say that this thing is a scam and will never come back. You don't really know that unless you have a crystal ball and you can see into the future in which case why are you watching this video? I report on facts and the facts are based on what we know. And what we've seen in the past facts do not report on what will happen that's a prediction based on what you guess will happen in the future and that's why we use things like projected probability likelihood because at the end of the day it's a guess however educated that guess may be i'm not interested in spending time trying to figure that out there are plenty of other youtube videos that you can go watch that can help you guess about what's going to happen in the future. What I have here in front of me is reporting on things that have happened and that is happening. And I'm going to continue to report that way. And that's all I have to say on that. First, let's go over control finance. The website is still down, cannot be reached. So I am assuming that I have been receiving zero payments and my other payments still have not come through. So there's a bunch of red X's here for zero up until last night. We've progressed 52 days into the 120 day evaluation period. I have $33,000 invested. The average daily rate is plummeting every single day that nothing is showing. And you can see now that the average interest rate is at 1.15%. My Woodlands are investing control finance again is very unlikely on the right hand side. There's not a whole lot more to say on this one except that it's not paying as advertised and they've disappeared on Telegram and it looks as though 
unknown as to when it will come back, if ever. Next up is BitConnect. As you can see, daily payouts have been occurring as advertised by BitConnect. And here only reinforces that. I haven't experienced very many problems with BitConnect in, in quite a while. Although I need to note that as lately, I've been seeing some odd one cent reductions from some of what I should have received versus what I did receive. For instance, these last five days, I should have received $991.40. I had available $991.39, as you can see right here. And that's been occurring a number of times, these random one cent deductions. Don't know where they came from. It could be a rounding thing, but I'm reporting on what I should have received versus what I did receive, and there's a cent difference. But other than that, there was no issue other than this random 0 0.0000001 Bitcoin edition. Don't know where that came from. I should note, however, that for the last, call it 20 days, the volatility software has experienced a number of near zero returns. As you can see, 0 0.06, point, that was a pure failure there. 0 0.01, another pure failure, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and 0 0.02. I wanted to keep track of that just to note how the volatility software itself was doing. And on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days out of the last approximate 20 days, its file accounts failed. As far as the analysis goes, I have invested $20,000. I have accrued 107 days worth of interest. My days until capital release is 13, at which point I anticipate I will receive my $20,000 back. Total interest payouts have been $26,000. Highest was 400, lowest is 50, and the average is 247. Total fees incurred have been almost $500. The average fee rate is 2%. The average interest rate is 1.23%. It's still trailing acceptably behind the 1.29% advertised 107 days ago. My net return has been $25,000, which is 127% of my $20,000 investment. As far as projections go, I project I will receive $29,000. That means I have $4,000 left, approximately. I've already re reached my break-even point. I project a loss of $1,800 based on current averages being consistent. My projected rate of return is 147%, which is still acceptably within an acceptable range of 154% advertised. My return with principal is projected to be $49,000, which is sitting at 244%. Now you'll notice that's quite a bit bigger here, and that's because this 154% doesn't take into account the return of your principal. Without my return of principal, I'm looking at 144% which is 10% below the 154. My Woodlander Invest in BitConnect coin again is with caution. However, as you can see that with caution is on the left-hand side of that tab. Here are the charts. You can see it's been going up and down, very volatile, and the return on average began very, very high and then leveled out at about 150%, whereas the average interest rate has leveled out at about 1.2%. Next up is BitPetit. As you can see, I have been receiving hourly dividends as advertised. And right now I am over halfway complete towards my completion date of October 7th. I need to note that as of last night, I have received the exact amount that I calculated I should have received since my last withdrawal which is the first time I've ever been able to do that in my last video I noted that the math hasn't quite reconciled completely what I calculated was not what I received in my withdrawal and it was consistent all the way until last night when it looks like bit petite has fixed whatever error has been occurring and I received the exact amount that I calculated I should have received other than that I have not experienced any issues 
and I continue to be able to withdraw and receive hourly payments as advertised. So we've gone through 29 days of the 42 day evaluation period. We have 13 days left. I've been paid $10,000 so far. I'm almost at my break even point of 31 days. If everything remains consistent as it has been, fees incurred have been $154. Average daily interest rate is 3.5%, which has not budged. The weekday interest rate is 4.5%, which is what has been advertised. And the weekend interest rate is 1%, which is consistent with what has been advertised. My net return has been $10,114.58, which is 97% of my $10,375 principal. So within a few more days, I'll break even if everything remains consistent. And then I will, this actual break even will change to yes. So again, I'm projected to break even here in two more days. I'm projecting a loss of $1,300. I haven't quite investigated why that is, as everything seems to be on track and consistent as advertised. My projected return on investment is 147%. My projected net return is $14,839, which is which is a projected 143% net return on my principal. You can see interest payouts have been up and down, but that's because these two days are weekends and these five days are weekdays. As far as this graph goes, I'm not really sure how to explain why it's been zigzagging and getting closer and closer to a straight line. Woodlands are investing bit petite again. Right now it's with caution in the middle because it is starting to consistently pay as advertised and some of the irregularities such as this random difference in what I should have received versus what I did receive is for the first time reconciled, but we'll see how that plays out in the future. And that's everything I have for bit petite. Next up is Genesis Mining. I don't have anything to report on Genesis Mining because it's due to start 31 October. Today is 23 September. So we have a little over a month before that starts accruing payments. But I have 200 terahashes of open Bitcoin mining ready to go with a $25,000 investment. 128 valuation day period. And my return is projected to be 132 percent in that 128 day period and that's everything i have for genesis mining so as a summary i've invested eighty nine thousand dollars my return is sitting at forty eight thousand dollars or 54 percent i have forty one thousand dollars remaining to be returned and that equates to 46 percent my projected is a hundred thousand dollars which is down from 120 thousand dollars it was last time and that is almost exclusively due to control finances, disappearance, and stop on payments. BitConnect is now in a clear lead among the other th three. And I look forward to seeing where things go from here. That's everything I have for this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.